Oh, this is a lot of dust, I must say. We're back on the road. Uh, I did some soul searching and we will be driving to Granada today. It's roughly about 300 kilometers, a bit more. We will be going to Alche before that uh, to check out a palm tree forest. That seems really interesting. Uh, my night was not that great. Uh, at first it was really hot and I couldn't really uh, get the nails into the ground. So I just laid my uh, thing over it because there wasn't a single bit of wind in days and it was always super hot so I thought what would happen and uh, then quite an intense summer thunderstorm came and uh, blew my tent to pieces and I got really wet and didn't have a lot of sleep but now it's really hot again but at the same time really really windy but it's like this really warm wind basically um, my camera problems have gotten worse for some reason now also the other camera decided to do some weird bollocks I'm continuing to film as long as the thing records something but this shit is so annoying um, I hope it gets better soon and I will also get new tires in Granada so I will have some time to figure all this software bullshit with my camera out while I am in Granada So guys, we now arrived in Elche and uh, we've been driving through some actual desert which was wild on the highway this time. I was not going through that off-road because I did that once and not doing that again, especially not in this heat. If you want to see me fight my way through the desert off-road, I would recommend to click on the video right here in the top hand corner because that's the video where I do that in the Bandes Reales. That's crazy to think that when you're going through Europe that you will see actual like half deserts but it, it feels like being in a desert. I'm happy to also get new tires in Granada because I must be honest on the side of the tire I don't really trust these ones anymore. Oh that's an impressive bridge. Oh, and I think I can already see a lot of palm trees over there. Oh this looks like the LA River. This is kind of cool. Oh, and there they are, the palm trees. It's a wild feeling driving between palm trees all of a sudden. I will not be standing here in this heat on the motorbike. I think that will be one of the main things I will miss when I'm back in Germany. Is In Germany I couldn't do what I'm doing right now. Like just passing cars and so on like this would be a big no. There seems to be something going on in there. Maybe I can just park the bike somewhere over here. So guys, uh, the park with the palm trees is hardly closed today, but I'm not 100% sure how closed it is because the gates are closed and everything. But I see in this little LA River lookalike uh, a little stairway up and um, I'm pretty sure that we can get in over there and I think it's not a big problem if we have a short look at the park because like the chateau was already closed, the Dune de Pilar was closed uh, we will have a little look so guys, we now made it into the canal as you guys can see and over there is the palm tree park I also wanted to show how extremely cool looking this canal actually is
So apparently the main part of the park is blocked off due to a music festival. But at least I managed to get into some of it. Any more uh, breaching of barriers is probably not a good idea. We will now get onto the road to Granada and I will be taking pretty much the Autobahn there because I mean there is also a curvier option but it's also a lot of straight road, way longer and has only like a few curvy bits in it. Somehow through the constant use and through the constant heat my chin mount fell off and I'm going to fix that now so I will re-glue it onto my helmet. Der Wind ist halt nicht mehr witzig. So guys, we're now out of this half desert kind of area, but it's literally just extremely windy. I really have to fight the wind on the bike at the moment. Also looks to be quite some rain on the mountain over there. And maybe you guys can already see in the distance how much dust is getting kicked up by all the wind. Like, I can sometimes hear a bit the dust and the sand on my helmet. Okay, to be honest, it looks like all the weird dust is getting closer and we will have to go through it. I hope it's just that there's more dust and not more wind. So this looks a bit extreme. Oy, 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 oy. Look at the palm trees over there. They're also fighting the wind like me. Oh. Hui! Oh. Oh. Going through the shadow, one shadow of the semi trucks is always a bit scary. Oh, this is a lot of dust, I must say. Oh. I can hear it on my helmet quite loud. We now managed to reach the rain and. To be honest, this is not rain, this is hail. And this feels not nice. They feel like little uh, um, airsoft bullets. Like, what the fuck? Oh. This is a really fucking unpleasant experience. Fuck it, duck, this hurts. Hopefully there's a bridge soon. If there's a bridge coming, I will... I will oh, it's getting better from it. Oh, and also the wind is strong. Oh my god. Whoa! We're pulling over. We're pulling over. We're pulling over. Fuck it up. The wind was stronger than the traction a moment ago. Hey guys. Um, I now found some shelter at a gas station um, from the rain. It's also already stopped raining. I earlier had a strong case of aqua planning and my bike got carried off the road. Sadly, my camera stopped working before that because my camera just is really shit and constantly doesn't work. So guys, um, I'm mad at my camera. I'm mad at how my GoPros do not work. I, just before this, I did a recording on how, on explaining what my problem is with my camera and that it constantly doesn't work and how mad it makes me. And now I'm recording this the second time because my camera did not work again. And the thing I wanted to talk about was uh, when the heavy rain hit, I had like a moment where I nearly uh, fell because my bike got pushed away from the wind and I was sliding everywhere. And sadly that moment that was shit for me, but would have been good in the video, got lost. 
due to my GoPro Hero 7 Black malfunctioning again repeatedly and that just brings me down to be honest like I really feel sh shit about it because it's not the first time it happens over and over again oh, the landscape here is beautiful by the way that cheers me up a bit So guys, I've just gotten a warm coffee and some gasoline. I made the decision that we will finish our way to Granada tomorrow in the morning because it's getting dark and um, I'm freezing to be honest. I'm just really cold even though it was super hot the whole day and basically always really really hot. I'm now really really cold because I'm very wet basically still from the rain Whew, I'm so cold and I'm biting my teeth um, there is a hotel supposed to be here, roughly 30 kilometers away that should be 30 bucks a night uh, the woman who works at the gas station told me about it and she said that it also should still be open so sounds promising Ooh, now it's really getting cold. Luckily, we don't have it far anymore. Whoa. Whoa. I'm just so soaking wet, to be honest. Soaking wet without the sun on a motorbike? No fun. Hopefully the, lady at the <coughs> Hopefully the lady at the gas station is right and there's actually still one at the reception, that would be cool. This does not look that much hotel-like here, till now. Ooh, this is a bit scary to be honest. This should be part of the same building. Pardon? <laughs> See, uh, pardon, uh, hi, un hotel, uh, aquí? Uh, uh, yo puedo hablar inglés y francés. I'm looking for a hotel. See, hay un hotel aquí? Hmm? English, yeah. Hmm? Ah, okay. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Um. Okay. Adios. Well, that was weird. We have a restaurant here. Maybe they can help us. So, the cheap hotel that the lady at the gas station described to me apparently doesn't exist anymore. Uh, there was only like this weird place that you guys saw a minute ago. Also, the old man gave me the creeps. Maybe it was only because I didn't understand him, but it felt weird. Um, I'm going now to a motel that I saw on booking.com. Also for 30 bucks. 
But I'm pretty sure that the next hotel will be good. Oh, there are even two other motorbikes. Oh, this is so fucking cold when you accelerate and the wind comes and you feel the completely wet shirt just on your skin. Ooh. Oh, this is actually quite cool where like three bikes now riding through the night. Oh, this has some vibes to it. This is so cool.